Oh. Okay, so the case we're doing this week is Andrew F versus the Douglas County School District. Um, a little overview before we do a deep dive into the case. So Andrew F was a boy diagnosed with autism. He was in a public school um, up to the fourth grade in the Douglas County School District. Um, and his family felt that he wasn't making progress on his yearly um, IEP goals. So they decided to then move him to a private school where he actually made significant progress on his academic and behavior goals. So then they went back to the original public school who presented another IEP and the family felt that it was the same, it was the same goals and Andrew wasn't going to make any progress. So they decided to make a claim um, in court for the original public school within the Douglas County School District to pay the tuition of the charter school where Andrew was making progress. Okay, so the issue um, is that IDEA is the law that includes a variety of components that the school and the teachers need to follow. So one of those is that every student has the right to receive a free, appropriate public education. Um, so the I another like thing that was said in an article was that the IEP must comply with each student's right to free, appropriate public education. So the IEP needs to match with that law. Um, so the issue at hand was that Andrew's family didn't feel like Andrew was receiving that appropriate education because of the lack of progress that he was making. So they put a claim on the school and eventually sued the school because they didn't feel like the school was writing IEPs that were appropriate for help. Following the law under IDEA. Okay, the court was trying to determine how beneficial the IEP was to, to students in general and how much they needed to provide in terms of support. Um, the court clarified that all students, including those at grade level, are qualified to receive an IEP that is reasonably calculated to enable a child to make progress appropriate in the light of child circumstances. The court additionally emphasized the requirement that every child should have the chance to meet challenging objectives and not just the minimum requirements. So looking at just the, the deeper facts of this case, so Andrew F. was enrolled in the fourth grade at the Douglas County School District. Um, his family went to his yearly IEP meeting, determined that he wasn't making progress and he hadn't been for quite a while. So they were they were pretty frustrated and they felt like they weren't being heard and they felt like the goals being set were the same every year. And under the IDA law, it says if parents feel that their children's schools are not providing a free and appropriate public education, um, parents may enroll their children in private school and seek tuition reimbursement from their school district. So they decided to do just that. They enrolled him in a private school under this premise. Um, they felt that the school used methods that allowed Andrew to make more progress academically. They were doing things that the public school just wasn't doing and it was working. So they decided to make a claim with the Colorado Board of Education to pay their tuition for that private school. Um, their claim was then denied um, because they felt that at the public school, he had made enough progress on his IEP for it to be okay under the IDEA law. Um, so then the family went back and sued the Douglas County School District and the Federal District Court of Colorado for denying Andrew a free and public, appropriate public education um, and an IEP that was sufficient for what he needed then at that time. Then they applied again after they were denied by, so then they were denied twice, then they applied again and were denied by the 10th Circuit as well. So then it went to the Supreme Court. So the final holding, um, so basically, as Carly just stated, the Colorado Board of Education, Federal District Court of Colorado, and the Tenth Circuit Court denied the parents' claim, saying that the IEP was adequate and it didn't break any laws with IDEA. So the claim went to the U.S. Supreme Court, and what happened was in 2017, the Supreme Court stated that people with disabilities are entitled to an IEP that helps them make appropriate progress. So the case went back to the lower court and they decided that the district did owe the family money for both tuition and now all the legal costs that they had to go through. So the district ended up paying the family $1.32 million. 
Okay, so the court's rationale, Abby mentioned it, but the court ruled that under the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, the IDEA, public school students with disabilities are entitled to greater benefits than some lower courts had previously determined. So this quote is basically saying that um, the IDEA and FAPE, where it's morally, mostly focusing on the appropriate education and that we're required to give students um, goals that are going to be more challenging for them than things that are just too easy for them or that they will like never accomplish. So our question for you guys is, um, even though Andrew wasn't making progress, the IEP was deemed adequate at first. And so just kind of with that, according to you, what makes an IEP adequate or not for a student? Thanks, guys. <laughs> 